is the 8th of December. I am in the Averick yard in Madison, Illinois. Um, yes, I still work for Maverick. That may sound like a sarcastic answer, but it, I, I answer that question because yesterday it was asked. So every time it's somebody asks me that, I'm going to answer it in a video. So this way they know. Um, I've got three very large, I, uh, I guess you can call them large pipes. You know, that's, that's, the, way I, <laughs> that's the way I roll. Um, if that gives you a reference as to uh, how th uh, thick the sidewalls of those are. Um, it's a very interesting manufacturing process because basically they take coils of sheet steel that's that thick and you can see the welded seam. So basically they're, they're spinning this and rolling it flat sheet steel that's in a big roll at an angle and it allows them to really make any length or size pipe that they would uh, desire to make. This particular company uh, that I pick up in uh, St. Charles, Missouri, uh, I've carried smaller pipes for this company and I've also on this particular truck carried one pipe because it was that big of a diameter they couldn't fit any more pipes on there. They supplied the lumber they, and uh, placed the product on the deck and then we we secure it. Um, and luckily for me, it's a Friday when I'm picking this up. And the other awesome thing is this has a specific appointment of 12 p.m. on Monday. So that means I do not have to be there by 10 because it's got a specific delivery time. If it, uh, if it was an open time frame, I would have to be there by by 10 o'clock. Um, so there's really not a whole lot to this, you know. I've got, let's see, 56,000 pounds worth of securement on a 37,000 pound load. And uh, while I'm here, as a rare occasion, you can see, uh, here's a Freightliner Cascadia as it's uh, decked, it's a mid-roof still. But it's decked out for the temperature control division and you can see the uh, catwalk is designed a little bit different because obviously they don't need to get up onto the deck <laughs> onto their flatbed trailer because they don't haul flatbed uh, so they have a little bit different aerodynamic kit that is placed on the the truck but uh, I can guarantee you that the interior is virtually the same as my truck and then you have a temperature control truck, aerodynamic skirting, and uh, this is um, answers one question. Somebody asked why doesn't you know we have uh, large single tires in instead of having two single tires like a lot of trucks carry. We have these low profile single tires and they they asked why doesn't your tr why don't the the flatbed trailers also have the large single tires in the back I personally don't know the answer to that question um, it, it's never it never even occurred to me to ask and the reason that is is because I don't pay for the tires so I don't care <laughs> but this does show an example of where there are trailers in the Maverick inventory that do have the single uh, wide low profile slash AKA super single style tire on the trailer. And the other cool thing that's uh, kind of similar to my truck is the, uh, the way these uh, doors latch, I get some temperature control practice because of this trailer I have. It's a Great Dane, but look at these doors for my, before I store my tarps. I'm sorry, it's uh, got a large amount of dirt. Um, the 
truck wash is closed, and I'm assuming it's because of the temperature. It's like, I don't know, 40 degrees, 30-something degrees today. But as you can see, the handle, they decided to go with the, hey, practice your temperature control door closing technique so I can stay fresh, good to go, ready to trans transfer right over to the other division, staying thoroughly trained on opening and closing these doors. And I did open and close these doors on both sides today because I had a load of angle iron coming out of where was it coming out of North Carolina near Charlotte it was uh, 50 foot long pieces and it had to be tarped and that's a load of fun on a 48 foot long deck so and I've actually finally got time to stop and talk so that's why I'm actually showing this load. Uh, hopefully next week I will find time to actually discuss the new Maverick's new five cent per mile pay raise that they gave, they have given to all drivers in Maverick. Uh, I can't say they gave uh, five cent per mile raises to any other trucking company because, <laughs> yeah, that's a sad joke, I know. But they did give us a five cent pay raise. Uh, on our base pay and also they have a new um, paid time off policy which is in my opinion uh, been modified for the better and uh, I won't discuss those now because I just don't really have time to discuss those I, I think they deserve their own video to discuss each one of those so you can discuss the different points of uh, those different policies and what's going on. So hopefully I'll find time to share those and remember to share that information next week. I actually wrote it down on a checklist of things to talk about because I keep forgetting. <laughs> you know, I, I get something interesting going on the back of my trailer and I'm like, hey, I'll talk about that. I have a few minutes. And uh, so anyway... The, it's funny in winter how harsh the light can be even you know it's it's 3 30 in the afternoon and it, it feels like well it's getting close to sunset already we are uh, approaching winter solstice so uh, that is the shortest day of the year interesting little lip they have welded onto the end of this particular pipe. He's checking out the other ones. No. That one has a, a lip on it. So does this one. And it's not completely all the way around. And it may have reversed the stack of the top one. So they load that one last by itself. I don't see anything on that one. Huh. Interesting, just uh, things you notice. And this stuff is, after it's manufactured, it's stored outside in their in their yard, their steel storage yard. It's just tubes of steel everywhere. And they have a big spot where they have giant forklifts that come along and just plop these things right on the back of your trailer makes it really quick to load hmm. seems like I was gonna mention something else and I can't remember I forget on Fridays all I'm thinking of, excuse me all I'm thinking about is getting in my truck loading it up with the stuff inside this truck moving it to that truck and driving home and that's what I'm gonna do now if I can do this without sneezing it'll be good Sorry. Have a good weekend.